What is energy? turns out the question what is energy is actually a pretty hard one to answer and that's because I can't physically see energy I can't hold it in my hands so maybe I'm asking the wrong question maybe instead of looking at what energy is maybe we should be thinking about what energy does energy is everywhere and we can see its effects everything that moves or changes in the world is moved or changed by energy what's the best way to get these objects to move I have to throw them I give them energy from my muscles to make them fly high into the air. If I want them to go higher, I give them more energy and I have to work harder. But energy is not just useful for hand-eye coordination, there are tons of different types. You can have chemical energy, light energy, heat energy and heaps of others. And objects don't always have only one type of energy. For example, if you wanted to run a car, you'd need stored energy in the fuel, chemical energy to break the fuel down, and then heat and mechanical energy to get the engine going. So how does the energy move through the system? A few hundred years ago, a really famous scientist named Sir Isaac Newton proved that energy can be neither created nor destroyed. That means that objects transfer their energy from one to the other. Take this tennis ball. If I drop it from this height, it doesn't bounce all the way back up into my hand. Why is that? I mean, if energy is not created nor destroyed, then it should have enough to bounce back to where it started. The energy when this ball hits the ground is transformed into three things. Vibrations, heat, and sound. But it's a little bit hard to see things like sound and heat, right? So let's try something else. When I drop the bigger volleyball and the tennis ball together, the volleyball doesn't bounce as much as it should. Watch it closely. But the tennis ball goes flying into the air so high that my camera didn't catch it. The volleyball gives all of its energy to the tennis ball and sends it up much higher than it bounced before. Energy can be traced like this through anything around you. You really just have to look for it. Have a look at my backyard. The sun gives energy to plants which then transform it into food. The plants then grow big and strong only to be cut down and fed to chickens. It's sad for the plant, but happy for the chicken who uses all of that food to get energy to make an egg. This egg then gets beaten into cake batter, baked in an oven where all the proteins in the egg are changed by chemical and heat energy into cooked egg in the form of this delicious cupcake, which I then get to eat and it makes me pretty happy. So energy is everywhere and we use it every day. The energy from this cupcake originally came from the sun. By eating it, my body changes all of the stored energy in here into fuel for my muscles, which is uh, good, because <laughs> um, I need to go and catch a chicken. Ah. Hey buddy, um, are you gonna... Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Woo! 